Good morning, students. Today's topic is present perfect and the class objectives are for listening. We are uh, we will be able to recognize positive and negative positive negative and and questions in present perfect for speaking we will be able to talk in past in unfinished time to recognize unfinished time in reading we will be able to analyze unfinished time in a real context in writing we will be able to contrast finish and unfinished time okay so let's begin so for this topic also uh, do you remember that i told you that i you need to you need to practice your um, the third column of the verbs of the irregular verbs so this is when we are going to to be using those verbs I remember that some some of you were um, asking me when when do we use uh, when do we use those verbs? So for this topic, we are going to be using those verbs. So I hope that you guys um, review the irregular verbs, and I told you the last week that. You have to review and to get familiar with the irregular verbs in the third column. Uh, so we are going to use them today. All right. So let's begin. Okay. So I'm going to tell you when do we use present perfect. Okay, so we use the present perfect when we are talking in the past but in an unfinished time. Okay, so we have to, do you remember that last week we covered the simple past? Okay, so the simple past is uh, it's a it's a time in the past that is finished okay the present perfect is in the past but continue happening in the present it's not finished so we are going to see we're going to watch um we're going to watch a PowerPoint point presentation with the grammar. So you will you will be able to see and understand the grammar. Okay, I'm going to I am going to show you Okay. Okay, so here I have the present perfect tense. We are going to have the positive form for the subject he, she, it. We are going to use has and the past, the, the third column of the, of the irregular verbs. For I, 
you, we, you, they, we're going to use have plus the verb in the third col column. So for example, if I have if I have a, a sentence, I can say he has started. Started it's a regular verb. That's why we only add ed at the end. Okay? So the same with the irregular verbs you know that irregular irregular verbs they have their own form for example the past participle of be who can tell me that who can tell me what's the past participle of be Okay, the past participle of be is been. You 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 cannot uh, get confused between the simple past and the past participle. Okay, the past participle is the third column from the irregular verb list. All right. Okay, so for the um, for the, for the negative form, the negative form we have the subject plus has or have the negative not plus the past participle of the verb. Okay, so remember that. Here we have to identify the subject. If we are using he, she, or it, we will be using has or the negative hasn't. For I, you, we, you, and they, we are going to use have and the negative not or haven't plus the the past participle of the verb okay so we're going to work in with positive and negative forms for now and i'm going to show you i'm going to um show you a, a sentence uh, you who can tell me who can tell me a, a a verb okay if i going to use if i'm going to use the subject she what should I put here have or has she has eaten sushi she has eaten sushi okay eaten is the past participle of the verb eat okay eat ate eaten okay um let's let's make another one i'm going to use a different subject i'm going to say I'm going to say um I'm going to say Thomas Th 
Thomas have or has? Thomas have or has? Has. Thomas has broken the window. Okay? Broken is the past participle of what is the what is the, the the main verb the infinitive base break break broke broken okay thomas has broken the window okay let's let's use a, a different if i say they if I if I use they if the, if the subject is they which one should I put here they has or they have Okay, they have. They have drunk wine. They have drunk wine. Drunk is the past participle of drink. Drink, drunk, drunk. All right, so those are positive sentences so the negative i'm going to make an, a negative sentence let's use the same let's use the same sentence here she has eaten sushi. How do I make this, the first sentence, negative? What do I have to do? She has eaten sushi. How do I make it negative? What do I have to use here? What do I have to change? Okay, I have to change. As. I'm going to... She hasn't eaten sushi. Okay. Here, here's in positive and the negative. She hasn't eaten sushi I change here I did I I change it to the negative the negative of has hasn't she hasn't eaten sushi the verb is the same okay so I just change the auxiliary verb all right so let's do the same with the with the other with the other um sentence thomas has broken the window how do i make that negative thomas has broken the window so to make it negative I'm going to change the auxiliary verb. Thomas hasn't broken the window. Okay? Thomas hasn't broken the window. All right? The verb 
keeps the same. We, I just change the auxiliary verb. And the last one. They have drunk wine. They, what's the negative of have? Haven't. They haven't drunk wine. They haven't, haven't is the negative of have, have, haven't, they haven't drunk wine, all right? So here we have positive, negative sentences. Now we are, now we are going to practice we're going to learn how to make the interrogative tense all right so let's continue with the let's continue with the question with the question form so we have to we have to remember that if we are using the subject he, she, and it. We have to use the auxiliary has. If we are using I, you, we, you, they, we use the auxiliary have. All right. So to make a question, we are going to start with the auxiliary. Okay. So if we are going to talk, if I'm going to use she, I had to use the auxiliary has okay so to start the question I'm going to start with has has she let's think about a verb who can tell me a verb has she um has she gone Has, has she gone? Well, we can add something else, but uh, I can say, has she gone? Um, has she gone to the party? Has she gone to the party? Don't forget the question mark. Okay, very important. The question mark has to be in the question. So let's read it. Has she gone to the party? We use the auxiliary has to start a question because we are talking about the subject she. Has she, the verb in the past participle, has she gone to the party? Don't forget the question mark. Okay, has she gone to the party? Let's, let's use a different uh, subject. Let's use um, we. If I'm going to use we, which auxiliary should I use? Has or have? Have. Have, have we, let's say, um, which verb, have we forgotten, have we forgotten, have we forgotten your birthday? All right. 
Have we forgotten your birthday? Have we, we are using the subject we, so the auxiliary have. Have we forgotten your birthday? Okay. All right, um, my dear students, for your homework, I'm going to be sending you a worksheet where you will be able to practice what we learn in class today. All right? So I need you to write 10 questions and 10, um, 10, uh, positive, okay. 10 positive sentences, 10 negative sentences, and 10 questions. Okay. And that will be all for today. Thank you for your attention.